is you fill up a sink with a little bit of water and let the cat roam around the sink until it gets comfortable with the situation. Next step, play with the water, show the kitten that it's water. Bring your hand up, let her smell it. Some on her paw, maybe on her body. Don't let her jump off. So, oh, another step, you get your hands wet, pick up the kitten, and let it hover under water. Look at the situation, let her paws in, and then she meows. What you want to do is see if she'll stand in there on her own. As you can see, she's a little scared. If that's the case, simply hold her in a comfortable position. Pour water on her, you can use a small cup. I use my hand. You see how comfortable the kitten is. Now if your kitten decides to scratch and run, what she's thinking about doing, you can always grab them right here behind the neck. And they just basically get paralyzed and you can still hold them nice and easy. Give them a wash. And they understand what's going on. And they feel safe when they're paralyzed because they know you're doing it for a reason. They just go with it. Once you've got the kit fully wet, you can just go ahead and let it sit in the sink and it'll examine the situation. Again, it understands you're not hurting it. If you take your time while you do this, it'll make her comfortable with the situation for future best. Now, if she's gonna try to get out, I'm gonna stick and bring here. If you try to wash her, I'm gonna use some on dish soap. I let the kitten sit out if she wants to while I keep most of her body down here in the water. Get the Dawn dish soap everywhere I can. And one more thing, if you remember when we started we had the water ready and we didn't have the water running. If you bring the cat in here and the water's running, she's gonna hear the noise, she's gonna see the movement and try to run away with fear. We did let this cat watch the water fill up from a distance so she understood the water was uh, flowing, but she wasn't near it to freak out. So when we did bring her close by, she kind of had an idea of the situation. Avoid getting any water in the ears, the mouth, and the eyes. You want to wash everything down, and the head area nice and easy. To allow the cat to understand flowing water. Now I'm not holding her tight, she's just relaxed and trusting me right now. 